All right, show the one, show the one. First and foremost, before we dive to this lesson, giving our honor and our glory and our infinite praise due to Yahweh, by Hashem, Yahweh, by Hashem, HaKadosh, Dabon, Zerah, Meston, and the Apostles, who teach me well. Peace, salutations to the whole for elect the scattered abroad, the elect of the nation, Shalom, Shalom. You know, Shalom to the Sir Akim that's out there making their body a living sacrifice by going out there on the highways and byways and hedges by proclaiming this truth, okay? And a Shalom to the Sir Akwathim that's out there representing husbands, being a pillar of rest. Keep doing so to those that may be. Shalom. Okay, so this lesson is entitled the fiery trial okay the reason being for this lesson because you know throughout this uh truth you know you are going to be tested on all sides you know you don't go through a, a lot of things you know because you know the lord is purifying us and taking us through that crucible okay what does it mean to go through that crucible okay let's look at the word crucible it says a vessel of very refractory. It says a material used for melting and calcining a substance that requires a high degree of heat. A severe test. He's ready to face the crucible of the Olympics. Okay. And it says, you know, basically, a crucible is a melting pot used for extreme chemical reactions. The crucible needs to be melt, melt, melt proof. Literally, a crucible is a vessel used for very hot processes like fusing metals. Another meaning of the word is very significant, difficult trial or test. So, right, we are going to our, through our significant, difficult trials and tests. Okay, basically, the Lord is putting us through that, that crucible to purify us. Okay, yeah, we go through these hard times too because the Lord is getting all those impurities out of us. Okay. To appreciate righteousness, okay, because the what's to come in the kingdom is going to be righteousness and holiness, okay, and that's what we are striving for. That's what we are looking for, okay. We ain't looking for nothing on this. We ain't looking for this place to continue on because all it's going to continue to do is wear us out. But what the Lord is doing, you know, He is 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 reforming us, okay, because we lived in this place for so long, okay. But the Lord is just day by day every time you go through something the lord is changing you building you up making you more of a man making you more of a woman within this ministry because the lord is building you up building your character up okay because that's what yahabba shnel shah does okay so kind so once again yeah we are going through that crucible that fiery trial because they the, the elect is going to be tried as gold okay because the best because when you um, um, like silver, for example, you will know that silver is purified when you can see yourself within it. You know, gold. You know, you know it's purified. Okay, you will see a mirror image, but you will see a mirror image. Okay, but that's the same thing that the Lord is doing with us. He is making a mirror image. He he is purifying us to the point where it's going to be a mirror image. Okay, where he gonna be able to see himself within us, okay, and be able to dwell within us because we are no longer going to be in sin, no longer going to have any kind of iniquity. Okay. So with that, uh let's continue on. It's Romans chapter eight, verse seventeen. Okay, because yeah, we all go through things, man, okay? We all go through it, okay. But it's just to purify us, make us better, okay? This is Romans chapter 8 and verse 18 through, and it says, 18, 18 through 27. And it says, for I reckon that the sufferings of this present time are not worthy to be compared with the glory which shall be revealed in us, okay? So, hey, for these sufferings that we go through, you know, it, 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 it. We we it's not going to capitalize and glory. It's not going to be worthy of the glory that Yahab Yahab Hashem Yahushai is going to reveal unto us. Okay, because the more we keep going through this, you know, the more and more we going to be refined and be purified. Okay, of all of our iniquities. Okay, verse nineteen for the earnest expectation of the creature waiting for the manifestation of the sons of God. 
for the creature was made subject to vanity, not willingly, but by reason of him has subject to the same in hope. Okay, so you know we are subjected to vanity. Okay, not willingly. Okay, we don't like to go off. Okay, we hate going off. Okay, but it's like we are subjected to vanity. We are in these weak fleshly bodies. Okay, and we we do our best. Okay, okay. There's one thing to do your best then versus not trying at all, okay? Because when you're not trying at all, then that means you're not even trying to even better yourself. And I speak that for myself, okay? Because once again, there be times where I fall short, okay? Nobody can sit up here and say that they are perfect within this truth, okay? Because we all fall short, okay? Verse 21, because the creature itself also shall be delivered from the bondage of corruption into the glorious liberty of the children of Yahweh. Right. We shall be delivered from bondage. You know, what is the bondage that we go through within this captivity? Number one, being in under Esau's rulership. That's one form of bondage. Okay. Number two, being in these fleshly bodies is another form of bondage. Okay. Because we want to live righteously, but we can't because there's a war within our members. Okay. The, the 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 spirit is against the flesh and the flesh is against the spirit okay so we are constantly at war okay we we fighting ourselves on a daily basis okay to do what's right okay we win some lose some but we want to have more wins than losses okay verse 22 for we know the whole creation groaneth and travaileth and pain together until now right so there is, you know, if there is, is you know, you know, saying this account, you know, all Israel grown up, man, okay? Even you Jake that's in good positions, you know, living wickedly, yeah, I still grown, okay? Because this captivity is not for us. The Lord already told us in Micah 2 and 10, this is not your rest, depart from it, okay? We have to spiritually depart from this place because... We can't, we got to wait upon the Lord to physically save us, okay? So that's why, you know, we are groaning because we want to get up out of here physically, okay? We departed out of this place spiritually, okay, because we don't follow the ways of this world. We don't follow the ways that these people, we don't follow the ways that these people follow, okay? We try to be different. We try to be um, holy, okay? Holy means to be separated from those that are profane. Okay. Verse 23. <laughs> and not only they, but ourselves also, which have the first fruits of the Spirit, even we ourselves grow within ourselves, waiting for the adoption to wit the redemption of our body. For we are saved by hope, but hope that is seen is not hope. For what a man seeth, what doeth he yet hope for? But if we hope for what we see not, then do we with patience wait for it? Likewise, the Spirit also helpeth our infirmities, for we know what we what we should pray for as we ought by the Spirit itself make an intercession for us with groanings in which cannot be uttered. Right. So, you know, when we pray unto the Lord, those prayers get turned into Hebrew. Okay. But if praying in Hebrew is actually stronger and more powerful. Okay, so the Lord hears everything. He receives our prayers, okay, day in and day out, every second, every minute, every hour, man, okay? We, we, we constantly pray to the Lord to deliver us out of this place. We constantly pray to the Lord to give us the strength to be able to endure this hardness, okay? Because we are going through hell down here, man, okay? We are going through complete hell down here, and we want to be able to make it, okay? We want to be able to make it, okay? Okay, let's sit on that. Now, let's get the book of uh, 1 Corinthians chapter 4, and verse, uh, what, was, what did I have? And 17. Oh, 2 Corinthians, lock it. And it says, for, verse 16, it says, For which cause we faint not, but though our outward man perish, yet the inward man is renewed day by day. Right. Scriptures say, a just man falleth seven times, you know. 
but the wicked fall in submission, okay? We are being renewed day by day, going through that crucible, getting purified day by day, okay? Because that's what the Lord is intending for us to do, to get better by day by day, learn from our mistakes so we can be corrected this time, get a rate this time, okay? That's why we. That's why the Lord got us under grace, okay? Because we're not going to be saved by the law, okay? Because if we was held by the technicalities behind the law, you know, technically, we all be dead, okay? We all be dead, but the Lord got us under grace to get this right, okay? Grace is like a homework assignment that you got to turn in at the end of the period, okay? Turn in at the end of the month, okay? And if you don't complete it, you fail, okay? That's why we are under the end of this predicament because we are trying to get it right. We are trying to do it right this time because we've been here multiple times, Okay, verse 17, for our light affliction, right, right, for our light affliction, which is but for a moment, worketh for us a far more exceeding and eternal weight of glory. Okay, so these things that we go through are light, okay, because the Lord can make it 10 times worse than what it is. Okay, never take your situation as if, you know, this is this is a situation where I got to. I, I, I just got to give up over everything. No, you cannot do that because you got to think about it. The Lord can make your situation 10 times worse than what it is. Okay? That's what you got to be thankful for. Okay? The hell you catching now. It can be 10 times worse than what you think. Okay? 10 times worse. Or 10 times worse. Okay? So that's why you got to be thankful for the hell that you're catching because that shows that the Lord, number one, is dealing with you. Okay, he's taking you through that crucible to build you up as a man, build you up as a woman. Okay, so you can't take it for granted and be like, oh, no, nah, man, this is too much. That's weakness, man. Okay, it's a light affliction in the sight of the Lord. Okay, I speak this for myself, you know, it's things happen to me. Okay, but I got to continue to maintain my faith in the Lord. Things like, let's just go into the account of Job. Everything I took from Job, okay, he left with nothing. But he still maintained his faith in the Lord. What did Job say? Though you slay me, I will maintain my my faith in you, basically. Okay? Continue on. Uh, well, we look at look not at things which are seen, but at the things which are not seen. For the things which are seen are temporal, but the things which are not seen are eternal. Right? So, you know, the things that we see, things that we go through, are basically temporary, man. But the things we are going to inherit in the kingdom is going to be eternal, okay? Because we are going to go through, we are going to inherit righteousness, okay? We are going to inherit righteousness, okay? We're in this, I don't know. This is uh, 1 Peter chapter 3, verse, uh, what is it? Second, oh, it's first Peter 1, it's lucky. It says, first Peter chapter 1, verse 3 Blessed be the Lord, blessed be Yahweh and the Father of the Lord Yahweh Shamashiach, which according to his abundant mercy have begotten us, begotten us again unto a lively hope, lively hope by the resurrection of Yahweh Shamashiach from the dead. To an inheritance and incorruptible and undefiled, and that fadeth not away in heaven for you, who kept by the power of Yahweh through faith unto salvation, ready to be revealed in the last time, wherein ye greatly rejoice, though now for a season, if ye if need be, ye are a heaviness through man, many fold of temptations. Now we read this in a different version, in OT. So be truly glad. There is wonderful joy ahead, even though you may endure many trials for a little while, right? So, you know, that, that crucible, okay? We are getting put through that fiery trial, okay? So, we are doing this for a short season in the Lord's eyes, man, okay? The Lord hears, the Lord sees everything that we go through, okay? But we got to continue to maintain and hold faith and hold fast in the Lord, Okay, to deliver us out of this situation, okay, because we can't deliver ourselves, okay. It ain't no vacation, it ain't no money, amount of money, ain't no amount of, ain't, ain't no good job that can get you out of this situation. But Yahweh Bashimi, I was shocked, okay, because we got to wait upon the Lord to deliver us, okay. All right, 
verse uh, 7, that the trial of your faith being much more precious than of gold, that perish though it be tried with fire, might be found unto praise and honor, glorying at the appearing of Yahweh Mashiach. Okay? So the pre a our trial of faith, okay? That's another thing we're going through, a trial of our faith. When we go through things, man, the Lord testing you to see if you can still maintain your faith in him, okay? Just not, not to be like, man, the Lord beating me up, man. I, I don't know why the Lord doing this to me, man. I'm, uh, I'm, I'm sick of this. No, because that is showing signs of unfaithfulness, man, okay? The Lord got you going through it for a reason because he is trying to build up your faith, number one, and build you up as a character, build your character, build up your identity with the Lord, okay? All right. Continue on. Um, and it says, uh, I think that's it. Okay, that's it. Now let's get the book of Second Peter, chapter 3 and verse 9. And it says, I'm going to start at verse, yeah, verse 9. And it says, The Lord is not slack concerning his promises, as some men count slackness, but his long suffering to us were not willingly that any should perish, but that all should come to repentance. Right. So the Lord is not slack concerning his promises, okay? Even though we go through our, our sufferings, okay, we are still maintaining our patience within the Lord because what that word patience means to suffer. Okay, we are still we, we are suffering. Okay, but guess what? This is a good suffering because we are patiently waiting on the Lord, man. Okay, because the Lord is about to come back soon, man. Okay, look at the signs of the time. Look at the things that's happening on the earth. Okay, that's a that's a clean indicator letting you know that hey, the end is coming. Okay, the end is very near. The end, end is nigh. Okay, so kind. That's it on that. Uh, get the book of Sirach. Okay. When I said, Lord, will this less edifying for those brothers and sisters that's going through something, you know, but just understand, you know, this we are in that crucible, okay? We are being tried. We are being made perfect, okay? Because, hey, this is the will of the Lord, okay? So this is uh, Sirach chapter 2 in verse uh, 1. And it says, My son, if thou come to serve the Lord, prepare thy soul for temptation. Right, so if you come to serve the Lord, hey, you got to be prepared to go through that crucible, man, okay? You got to be prepared, okay, because, hey, the Lord can turn, put that crucible on you at any given time, man, okay? But you got to maintain your faith in the Lord, then, okay? Verse 2, set thy heart aright, constantly endure, and make not haste in a time of trouble, right? Constantly endure, right? You got to have patience, okay? That is true, you got to have patience, okay? This thing about our elder apostles, man, they've been laboring in the truth 30 plus years, man, okay? Patiently waiting for the Lord, man. Still going out there on the highways and byways and hedges, proclaiming the name of the Lord, okay? So that's what we got to be doing, okay? Continually in there, you know, we got to continue in that same kind of um, mindset, okay? Even going all the way back to the apostles back then, okay? Yahweh Shai. Being the main, being the main chief cornerstone, okay. He even went up on a he 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 had patience with Israel, man. Right? Okay, he didn't want to die, but yeah, he still did that. Okay, to bridge us back to the heavenly Father. Okay, and what makes you think we shouldn't have patience in the Lord? Okay, so we got to continue to be patient within the Lord, man. Right? Okay, because he was patient with Israel, okay? So we got to be patient with the Lord, man, okay? Because, hey, the Lord is putting us through that fiery trial, okay? Verse 3, cleave unto him and depart not away, that thou mayest be increased at thy last end, right? We got to continue to cleave unto the Lord, hold fast to what we have, okay? Continue to do what's necessary to please the Lord, okay? Not to please ourselves and not to please anybody else but the Lord, Okay, verse four. Whatsoever is brought upon thee, cheer, take. Oh, so like whatever is brought upon thee, take cheerfully and be patient when thou art changed to a low estate. Okay, so hey, when you are changed to that low estate, man, you are going through your hell. Take it cheerfully, man. Okay, because that's the Lord putting you through that crucible. 
making you to making you become purified. Okay. You gotta think about it, man. You gotta think about it. Before you came to the truth, you you would say everything was kind of going well, but as soon as you got into the truth, you know, you started showing things kind of go left because the Lord intended it to be that way because He is going to put you through that trial to make you into something way, way, way more precious, man. Okay? He's going to make you into His very elect. Okay? Because that's who we are preaching unto, the elect. Okay? We are not preaching unto all Israel. Okay? Verse 5 For gold is tried in the fire, and acceptable men in the furnace of adversity. Okay, so hey, right now we in the furnace of adversity, going through our fiery trials because hey, the Lord is building us up, building our character, up, building our identity up with the Lord. Okay, so don't 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 think you going through your fiery trial and thinking this is wrong. No, this is right. Okay, this is right. Okay, when you when you go and work out, what are you doing? Your body is heating up to do what burn fat. Okay, what you think the Lord is doing with us? He got us going through this fiery trial to do what? To burn off our iniquities, to get all the impurities out of us so we can be perfect in the sight of the Lord, man. The Lord planned this out very, very beautiful, man. Okay? So, Khan, that's been this lesson, Lord willing, edifying to those when they watch, giving no honor, no glory, no praise to do to Yahweh, by Hashem, Yahweh Shai, by Hashem, Akakadash. The Bible is a great message at all. Apostles will teach you well. Peace citations all for let the scatter abroad. Till next time, till the next video, Shalom. Come on, Shalom. Bye, bye.